Hey everybody and welcome to the Your Life Blueprint Sound Vibrations for the day of Thursday. Thursday is the day of the giver vibration. So it's all about giving. It's all about generosity. Generosity. Coming from a place of expansiveness with giving and not being attached to giving you know not holding on to ideas of oh, this will happen when I do that and this will happen when I do that that's not real giving that's not real karma yoga as they would say in the East it's about ah, I just have to do this I, I mean not not that you're forced to do it that wouldn't be good giving either but you're kind of compelled in an inner way to do it. And it feels good. It feels expansive. You feel lighter when you do it. A great example of someone who had this in the spiritual area was the great, or is, he's still around, the great Bill Murray, a real karma yogi. Um, a lot of the things that he does for others don't get um, much press or, or spoken about much but in this book called The Tao of Bill Murray uh, lots of stories about what he does for others so I'm going to read a little bit um, a couple of stories about that and I'm going to play the vibration of the day which is based on the interval of the fifth and all of this will line us up not Linus and Lucy. It will line us up uh, with the vibration of the giver. No matter where you have it in your blueprint, you'll start to feel it and understand it a little better. Since Bill is a guy who treats the whole globe like his hometown, his generosity can manifest in unexpected ways. For example, in 1994, at the two-day international conference on sturgeon biodiversity and conservation, hosted by the American Museum of Natural History in New York City, there were 200 scientists in, in attendance, plus surprise guest Bill Murray. Bill even got up to speak before a room filled with PhDs. Some of you are saying, what is he doing here, he acknowledged. He justified his presence by explaining that, since he lived on the Hudson River, home to sturgeon, he was concerned about the travails of the endangered bottom feeders. Not that Bill pretended to be, to, to, pretended to more expertise than he actually had. He said that he had looked up sturgeon in the dictionary published in 1954 and it said when men were men women were chicks or babes and sturgeon were sturgeon bill worked the crowd like nick the lounge singer asking everyone in, if everyone in the audience was on their honeymoon if anyone in the audience was on their honeymoon how many of you are marine biologists how many of you are systematists before he left, he crumpled up a check and threw it into the lap of Catherine Burstein, the wife of Dr. Vadim Burstein, a Russian-American molecular genetic scientist. <laughs> At the time, Dr. Burstein was developing a method of using RNA analysis to identify the origins of caviar, sturgeon eggs, hoping that would help squelched the illegal importation of the caviar endangered species. When the Bernsteins unfolded Bill's wadded up gift, they discovered it was a signed blank check.
I went down to the street and saw Harold and Bill having a little chat. I wandered, I wandered up to them, and Harold started to introduce me to Bill, who was standing at 6364 is quite an imposing figure. Bill cut Harold off from his polite preamble. He turned to me and said, so what are you, what are you going to do? Is it funny? I went through a couple of lines of Ned, complete with my hand gestures and sound effects, and Bill just stared at me and then held up his hand and said, okay, okay, you can stop, that's funny. Bill looked around and there were about 500 town folk gathered to watch the shooting at dawn. They, then he said, you know what we need right now? I said, no, what? Bill fixed his eyes on the horizon and in a completely deadpan tone said, Danishes, we need a lot of Danishes. Come with me. Bill took off running with me trailing behind. He ran into a local bakery, pulled out a wad of cash from his pocket and said, I need every Danish you have in this place. Bill and I left with boxes of bear claws and donuts. Bill started tossing them at, ra at random to the townsfolk. Everyone was laughing and cheering. Bill was like a lightning rod. I don't think in a universe of possibilities, Bill could have done any one thing that could have united the town anymore and pulled them to our side. Do something for someone else with no attachment, no agenda today. <laughs> 